Welcome back and welcome to Forex Minions. Today we will discuss, most interesting, most awaited topic by Forex traders, which is institutional order flow and order blocks. This lecture can change your view about order block marking, and you will learn how to find a valid order block. In Forex entry techniques, the order blocks area really important to find a low risk entry with high reward. We will cover each and every detail about order blocks in today's lecture. Well, to understand the order block theory, we must study the institutional order flow first. Because if you do not understand the institutional order flow, then order block theory will be incomplete without it. Well, institutional order flow in forex trading refers to the large volume of trades executed by institutional traders in the forex market. Big institutions mean banks, hedge funds, and insurance companies. Remember, order flow helps us in defining market trend. Well, these are some simple schematic diagrams to understand this flow. Here this is a bearish order flow. Because big institutions are executing large volumes in sell side. Similarly, this chart pattern indicates the bullish order flow. Now, let's understand this concept in more details, with some logical reasoning. Let's start with bullish order flow. Well, in forex market, we can only sell if there is a buyer. And we can only buy, if there is a seller. It's mean if there is any liquidity. Similarly, when big institutions want to buy large volume of orders in bullish trend, no one would sell to them. Obviously, because of bullish trend. Smart money will trap retail traders to sell side by manipulating them. Check this chart. Here market was bullish and big institutions wanted to buy more. But no one was willing to sell them. That's why they manipulated the traders by showing a willingness to sell side. See these big sell side candles. After seeing such big selling candles, the retail traders started selling here, and smart money started buying at this point. This is how institutions actually works. You notice that how big institutions use to manipulate retail traders, by rating the previous short term low, stop losses and sell stops under that low, which is also known as or liquidity sweep or liquidity grab. This manipulation will establish bullish order flow. Note this red marked area, these selling candles actually created a bullish side order flow for smart money. These institutions created a fake sell move from this level and quickly turned the mark to bullish side. Now, these institutions will divert price to this base leave L just to mitigate their sell orders. Once they mitigate this order flow, which is known as bullish, institutional order flow, they will start buying again. Notice that how price came back into this zone and moved higher once again. Now, this sell side raid will establish a new order flow as market momentum is bullish. Again, market will take a dip to mitigate these sell orders, and resume its bullish trend. Now, this last sell move before this bullish move is bullish order flow. Here, this is again bullish order flow starting point. But, if you note this zone, what is this actually? This is actually an engineered liquidity. Below this is a unmitigated bullish order flow. Such zones act really strong to catch the market move. Notice that price reaction, market take out this engineered liquidity, mitigated this bullish order flow and shoot it up, leaving behind this another bullish order flow. Hopefully, now you understand the concept of order flow. How institutions establish fake move, or manipulated traders to the sell side, just to grab liquidity and then move into trends direction. Well, remember that, every last sell move before buy is bullish order flow. Similarly, if we talk about bearish order flow, this will gives us indication of bearish trend. Here again, when big institutions want to sell large volume of orders in bearish trend, no one would buy to them. Obviously, because of bearish trend. Smart money will trap retail traders to buy side by manipulating them. They will use to manipulate them by rating the previous short term high stop losses and buy stops above that high, 
which is also known as or liquidity sweep or liquidity grab. This manipulation will establish bearish order flow. Notice these bearish order flow area, market came back to mitigate their buy orders, and after mitigation, market started moving to downside. Such levels are really strong for out entry points. Because smart money or big institutions always give huge value to these order flows prior to any other zone. In simple words, last buy move before drop is bearish order flow. Now let's understand the importance of order flow by a real market sample size. This is an example of bearish market. Here. If you can notice this green highlighted area, this last buy move before a bearish move is actually a bearish order flow. Now, as a supply and demand trader, retail traders will wait for this zone to execute their trades. And some traders will select this zone, which is actually a fair value gap zone. At this point, they will wait for price to come back to these zones, trigger their orders but, does it really happen sometime? Answer is no. Sometime market do not tap into these fair value gap zones and supply zones, because there is another level prior to these levels, which is actually institutional order flow. Here. If you note this candle, we can market its bottom as institutional order flow baseline. Now, let's check price reaction here, you will notice the expectations versus reality here. See that, how price respected this institutional order flow, and moved into trend direction. Price did not tap into your fair value gap zone, neither into your supply zone. Market left this fair value gap and supply zone unattended and moved down. The reason is this institutional order flow. Big institutions just mitigated their buy orders here, respected this bearish order flow and take price into original direction. Now many of you questions got a logical answer now. This is the answer of your question that, why sometime market do not take our order and move away. Hope this makes sense now. Now, here comes most awaited topic, what is an order block? Well, order block is a refined form of institutional order flow. This is reason we studied this topic in great details just a second ago. Now, let's study about order blocks. What is an order block? As discussed earlier, order blocks is refined from of institutional order flow. Basically, order block is the collection of orders of big banks and institutions in forex trading. This is a point to understand and remember, that big banks do not just open a buy or sell order, but they distribute a single order in form of blocks to maximize the profit potential. Distribution mean they will stack their orders at multiple levels just to get premium and discounted prices accordingly. These distributed blocks are named as order blocks. Remember, every buy candle before a sell move is bearish order block, and every sell candle before a buy move is bullish order block. Let understand this point by a diagram. This is candlestick pattern. As you know that, every buy candle before a sell move is bearish order block. So this we can mark this bullish candle as bearish order block. Now. This bullish candle look like a single candle, but in actually, this candlestick contains lot of buy order inside it. Let's, understand this point by a simple diagram. If we note this bullish diagram and cross section it, you will notice the big institutions orders inside it. Big institutions stack their order in form of blocks, as you can see here, these blocks will offer better prices for a sell move. This is the reason that why we called a bullish candle before a sell move as a bearish order block. Because this candle contains lot of orders in form of blocks inside it. Now, when smart money is done with distributing their orders, they will move the marked into opposite side in speed, or you can say in form of large big move. This complete movement, I mean distributions of orders and next big sell candle, this will act as bearish order block. Hope you have seen such explanation first time in your life, but it's the hidden logic behind any order block. Similarly, if we check these candles, here the last sell candle before a buy move, this is a bullish order block. Here. Big institutions distributed their orders in form of blocks, 
before this big up move. This is the reason, we marked this bearish candle as, bullish order block. Now, let's understand that how an order block actually works. In Forex market, how we can find a logical order block for trading. Let's understand this topic by a simple schematic diagram. Consider market was bullish, market made this move. Price showed a rejection to the downside and created this a psychological resistance level. Now, support and resistance based, retails trader will start selling here. This will create a liquidity pool above this resistance. Now as we studied this many time, that forex market need liquidity for next move. Market will grab this liquidity and moved into opposite side again, turned from bullish to bearish. At this point, price trapped the breakout traders, and hunted resistance based traders stop losses. Now, if you note this zone, this is the area where big institutions distributed their orders, and made a sharp move, a big large move to the downside. Market grabbed this liquidity, and secondly, market broke down this previous low in expansion form. These conditions will convert this block into a bearish order block. Now, big institutions or smart money, will try to reach this level, to mitigate it by side order, and to trigger some pending sell orders in this liquidity void zone. Market will come back, tap into this order block, and reject it strongly. Now you can understand that a logical or valid order block is one, which take out liquidity, and next candle create a big large move. And price will not break such levels easily. That's why we called such levels as block, or you can say order block. Now, let's discuss another scenario. Consider market was bullish, market made this move. Price showed a rejection to the downside and created this a psychological resistance level. Now, support and resistance based, retails trader will start selling here. This will create a liquidity pool above this resistance. Market sweep this liquidity and moved into opposite side again, turned from bullish to bearish. At this point, price trapped the breakout traders, and hunted resistance based traders stop losses. Now, if you note this zone, this is the area where big institutions distributed their orders, and made a sharp move, a big large move to the downside. Market grabbed this liquidity, and secondly, market broke down this previous low in expansion form. These conditions will convert this block into a bearish order block. Now, big institutions or smart money, will try to reach this level, to mitigate it by side order, and to trigger some pending sell orders in this liquidity void zone. Market will come back, tap into this order block, and reject it strongly. I hope now you have clear understanding of an order block and how they actually works. Similarly, for bullish order blocks, 100% inverted situation for these blocks. We need to understand that market follows same rules for bullish and bearish order blocks. Consider market was bearish, and market made this move. Price showed a rejection to the upside and created this a psychological resistance level. This level created large liquidity here. Market will grab this liquidity. Or. You can say market sweep this liquidity. After taking out liquidity, market moved into opposite side again, turned from bearish to bullish. Now. At this point, price trapped the breakout traders sell stops, and hunted resistance based traders stop losses. Now. If you note this zone, this is the area where big institutions distributed their orders, and made a sharp move, a big large move to the upside. Market grabbed this liquidity, and secondly, market broke above this previous high in expansion form. These conditions will convert this block into a bullish order block. Now, big institutions or smart money, will try to reach this level, to mitigate its sell side order, and to trigger some pending buy orders in this liquidity void zone. Market will come back, tap into this order block, and reject it strongly. Now, if you are a forex trader, you may have noticed that sometime price do not respect order blocks. 
Why it is happened? Because every order block is not valid. Then question is which order block is actually valid? Well. There are some confirmation rules for valid order blocks. Let's study them in great details. Well. As discussed in previous lecture, to confirm a order block, there is a confirmation rule, which is liquidity. Market must take out liquidity to validate an order block. Let's study the rules for valid order block in great details. If any order block is valid or not, we can confirm it by these two rules. First. Price candle must take out liquidity of previous candle or previous low. Secondly. Price candle must create a price imbalance or fair value gap zone. Let's understand these rules by a simple example. This is a bearish order block, as we studied that last buy candle before a sell move is a bearish order block. Now, if we apply our rules, you can note that this is our highest candle which taken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. Secondly, market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. Now, as market followed these two rules, which are mentioned above here. In this case, this is our valid order block. Similarly, this is an example of bullish order block. This candle which is marked as order block, this candle taken out the previous candle's low. Price created this imbalance as well. So this is also a valid order block. Now, remember these general things about an order block. The ideal order block will not see price traded below the more than 50% of the candle body. What does it mean? Well, if this is an ideal order block, then price candle body, I repeat again, candle body, the retracing candle's body do not close more than 50% of this block. Generally, order block aligned with monthly trend will be high probability on all time frames. For bullish trend, order blocks below IDM levels will be high probability. For bearish trend, order blocks above IDM levels will be high probability. Let's consider more examples for your understanding. If we consider this pattern, this is a bearish order block, as we studied that last buy candle before a sell move is a bearish order block. Now, if we apply our rules, you can note that this is our highest candle which taken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. Secondly, market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. So, this is our valid order block. Now, this is another example. This is a bearish order block. Now let me ask you question that, is it valid order block or not? Now, if we apply our rules, you can note that this is our highest candle which taken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. So, our first rule is okay. Now, if we check our second rule, market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. But, this is an invalid order block. Reason is, the candle which sweep the liquidity and acting as order block, it did not left any price imbalance here. That's why this is invalid order block. Now, this is another example. This is a bearish order block. Now you can post your answer in comment session, either it is valid order block or not. Well, this candle order block as an imbalance there. But still, this order block is not valid. Reason is. This candle did not sweep any liquidity. If any cattle do not take our liquidity, it will not be a valid order block. Now another example. If we consider this pattern. This is a bearish order block. Now, if we apply our rules, you can note that this is our highest candle which aken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. Secondly. Market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. So, this is our valid order block. Now, this is another example. This is a bearish order block. Now let me ask you question that, is it valid order block or not? Now, if we apply our rules, 
you can note that this is our highest candle which taken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. So, our first rule is ok. Now, if we check our second rule, market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. So this is a valid order block. Now, this is another bearish order block. This is valid order block or not. Now, if we apply our rules, this candle taken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. Now, if we check our second rule, market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. But, this is an invalid order block. Do you know the reason? Well, this is invalid order block because this is not a valid pullback. The candle we are using as order block, this is just an inside bar. That's why this is not valid order block. Similarly, if we check out the sample size, this is a bearish order block. Although it has a price imbalance there, but this is not a valid order block. Reason is this is not a valid pullback. This order block is just an inside bar and such candles are smart money traps. Now. This is another bearish order block. This is valid order block or not. Now, if we apply our rules, this candle taken out the liquidity of previous high or previous candle. Now, if we check our second rule, market created this price imbalance, or you can say that a fair value gap zone. And, this is a valid order block. Because this is a valid pullback. Now. I hope you can easily mark a valid order block by following these rules. Now. Let's check out this real market sample size. If you notice here, market turned from bullish to bearish at this point. And, if you can notice this green box candles, this is basically a bearish order flow. Now as we discussed that, order block is a refined form of institutional order flow, so we can market this candle as order block. Because, as per our rules, this is the candle which taken are the liquidity from previous high. Secondly, if you know this zone, this is price imbalance created by smart money. You can mark it as fair value gap zone. Now, as per these rules, liquidity sweep and price imbalance. We can mark this order block as valid order block. Now, we can expect price to reach this entry zone. Because smart money will come back to mitigate their pending orders. Let's see price reaction here. Note that how beautifully, price tapped into this order block and reached it strongly. Market mitigated this order block and turned into major trends direction. Now. Let's check out this real market sample size. If you notice here, market turned from bullish to bearish at this point. Here. If you note this highlighted area, can you answer me that is it valid order block or not? Although this candle has taken out the liquidity from previous candle. But price didn't left any imbalance there. Remember, this is not an order block. This is just a smart money trap. But still. If this zone follow the two rules. Liquidity sweep. And price imbalance, we will still not consider it as high probability order block. Remember. Those order block, which are part of inducement or engineered liquidity, they are just smart money traps. Now if you note price reaction there, see that how price ignored this zone. This zone failed and cannot hold this price. Because this zone was just a smart money trap. Now, if you note this blue candle, this is an order block. Because, as per our rules, this is the candle which taken are the liquidity from previous high. Secondly, if you note this zone, this is price imbalance created by smart money. You can mark it as fair value gap zone. Now, as per these rules, candle which is sweeping liquidity and leaving price imbalance. We can mark such candles or order block as valid order block. Now. We can expect price to reject this zone. Because smart money will mitigate their pending orders. Let's see price reaction here. Note that how beautifully, 
price tapped into this order block and rejected strongly. Market mitigated this order block and turned into major trends direction. Now, when market made this sharp move to downside, this last buy candle before the sell move, this is institutional order flow. We have marked this zone for future entries. See, how beautifully prices reached this zone, got rejected and moved away. Now I can hope that you can easily trade order blocks, I mean valid order blocks and institutional order flow. Finally, be careful about such smart money traps. Now, if you want to check how to find a valid bullish order block, simply apply these rules as we discussed earlier. First, candle must take out liquidity or sweep the liquidity from previous low. Secondly, price must create an imbalance or fair value gap zone. As an assignment, find valid order blocks in bullish market, and also note down smart money traps. You can submit your assignments and queries on this email ID. Scan this QR code to contact us on social media and to join our WhatsApp group. Until next lecture, wish you good luck and happy trading.